Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Renegade Platinum. On the last episode, we continued on with finding these type trainers scattered throughout uh, Sinnoh and uh, locating them, fighting them one-on-one -on -one with their type and getting the plate from them after we beat them. Oh boy, which ones did we do? We did the flying one, which is located right next to the Pokemon League and we got the sky plate. We did the dragon one, which is located in the Celestic Ruins uh, and we got the Draco plate. We then headed over to, oh boy, now, now my memory's starting to lapse again. Uh, we went over to Floroma Meadow, where we did uh, the grass one and got the meadow plate. And we finished off in the Celestial Ruins, where we uh, fought the psychic one and got the mind plate. So, with all of those beat, we have half of them now. Uh, but we needed to train a couple of Pokemon uh, between this episode and last episode so that we had some other types available. So that's done. So let's start by going to some of them. Well, hold on. Let's start by get finding out where the next one we're gonna go to is and then fly there and then go to it. Oh wait, there's one here, isn't there, in Pastoria City? I think there is. I think it's the poison one. Well, that'll work. All right, so Daisy is our poison Pokemon. We could use, we could use James, but I have a feeling they're gonna be, I mean, poison ground uh, means that we could use earthquake and destroy them unless they have levitate, which they probably will. We'll see. Let me just, let me just make sure there's one here. Uh. Yeah, Pastoria City on the top floor of the Great Marsh Lobby. Okay. Oops. So let's take a look at our move set that we have. Uh, we poison jab, ice punch, earthquake, superpower. Maybe something here will be good. I mean, earthquake's the big thing. If we can earthquake it immediately, that'll probably do it. Unless it has, okay, so what potential poison Pokemon could there be that might make this a problem? Uh, that's a very good question. Once again, it's not gonna be a generation four Pokemon. I feel like it's going to be dual type. So, I mean, it could be a Nitto. I have no idea. It could be, uh, it could be Crobat, which would suck. Uh, Stunky or Skuntank, Scroopy or Drapion, Krogunk, Toxicroak. Good choices. Could be Gengar. If it's Grass Poison, we're good. There's a lot of Grass Poisons. Oh, I have no idea which one it is. Is it you? Nope. I didn't think they looked around. Is it the scientist man? It is. I'm the poison type master. I am the find the ultimate poison type. Your Pokemon, your poison type looks pretty strong. Should we find out who has the ultimate poison type Pokemon? Sure. All right, Donnie, what do you have? Okay, well, great minds think alike. So it is a Nitto, which means your weaknesses are my weaknesses. Let's see, poison ground. It still takes two, two times damage from ground, so I'll just earthquake it. It might do the same. But if it does, hopefully we live. Or maybe we just kill it off the rip. That's what I thought. Amazing, you have the ultimate poison type. Good job, Daisy. Oh, wow. Seems the ultimate poison type Pokemon belongs to you. That means you're the rightful owner of this precious item. 
There is text engraved in the back of the obtained plate. When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. Why do I feel like I've read that already? I feel like I have read that. Okay, what, what, what one are we going for next? We've done flame, we've done splash, we've done zap, we've done meadow. I should just tab these. Yeah. 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 Oh, we haven't had ice yet. I don't think I went fully through uh, Nidal's moveset, but we'll see. I mean, <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Or we could go with something else I have more, more trust in. I mean, it's a legendary. We have like several legendaries here that we could use. Da Daisy was the only one that wasn't, oh, I mean, I guess Waldo isn't a pseudo either. But it's bug. How difficult is the bug one gonna be? How many strong bug Pokemon are there? It might be Pinsir Heracross, now that I'm thinking about it. Let's see, hold on, which ones? Okay, let me just mark the ones I have so I can look for the ones that I don't have. Uh, Sky Plate, Mine Plate, we have the Draco Plate. Seven, eight, nine, all right. Well, we can't do, we can't do the dark type one yet. So let's go for, you know what, let's go for the steel one. Now we could use, we could use Kendrick, but the only move that Kendrick would be able to use is Surf. So I don't really trust it. Because it can't use any of its ice moves. And I can't use any of its steel moves, because they'd both be ineffective. That's why we got Dolores. You know what, No Queen, you can go back where you belong. There you go. So the steel type master is on Iron Island, because of course it is. Oop, wrong one. Boop, boop. Where exactly is it on Iron Island? It might not even be in the building. Just south of the entrance of the cave, so, yeah. Let's do these backup saves again. <laughs> I'm the Steel-type master. I am the find the ultimate Steel-type. Your Steel-type looks pretty strong. Should we find out about the ultimate Steel-type Pokemon? Sure. All right, what Steel-type could you use? All right, that's the one I was expecting. All right, so I have pressure. So you're still fighting. Fighting ground and fire work on you. I have Aura Sphere. Also, I have Earth Power. Why did I not give you... I guess you're a special attacker, huh? Are you? I already forgot what type you were. Oh, yeah, you're a special attacker, all right. Earth Power Special 90, Aura Sphere is 80, so I should hit it with Earth Power, because it would do more. How's this for a Steel-type move? I mean, you're not going to hit me with a Steel-type move. What am I weak to? Oh, you're so hitting me with an Aura Sphere, or maybe an Earthquake, one of the two. If you lived...
Amazing! You have the ultimate steel type! Oh, wow. Seems the ultimate steel type Pokemon belongs to you. I mean, I did use a legendary. I'm not gonna count it as cheating. That means you're the rightful owner of this precious item. <laughs> this is just a real iron plate. It's not like an actual plate. It's just a piece of, it's just a sheet metal of iron. The power of defeated giants infuses this plate. All right, we're good. And we gotta go back this way because we don't have our flying type with us. Skarmory might have been a good alternate if we would have known it was Lucario. Because that's kind of the fun of these. I don't know what Pokemon to expect, so I can't really like set up our strengths and their weaknesses. That's why I'm choosing the strongest ones. <laughs> Just to guarantee that we win. All right, who's next? Actually, you get to go back to where you belong. This isn't that far away. Uh, you know what, let's go with bug. Let's go with the bug one. So the Ansac plate, Route 202, just above Sand Gem Town. All right. We're actually close to that. Uh, just south of Jubilee City. Also, it might have been the first one I found if I not if I went to went down from Sand Gem Town. Okay, strong bug type Pokemon. Like I said, Heracross and Pinsir are good, good bets. Will they know of the type switch that happened with Flygon? And will they also have a Flygon? Because my Flygon can be hit by Earth moves. I mean, it's not, it doesn't have Levitate. I don't really think Earth moves would really hurt it all that much. I, and by Earth, I mean ground. Bug Dragon, what am I weak to? Flying Rock, Ice Dragon, and Fairy. That could be bad. I only have Bug Buzz. I can't, what a, okay, I'm a both? I'm a both. I'm more of an attacker, but Bug Buzz, I mean, I could teach myself a better bug move, right? I should have a better bug move at the bottom here. No, nope, that's steel. Never mind. That's why. <laughs> I've been through this. Ah, oh, that makes sense. It's a bug catcher. All right. Let's just take a look. Hold on. Bug, bug, bug Pokemon. Would you be pure bug? Pincer's pure bug. No, it'd be, it'd be something, something bug or bug something. Parasect, Venomoth, Scyther, Pincer. Oh, Pincer's already bug. Ariados, Fortress, Scizor, Heracross. Masquerade. It could be Shed Inja. That'd be a surprise. Yon Mega. Well, we'll we'll just have to wait and see. I'm the Bug Type Master. I'm gonna find the ultimate Bug Type. Your Bug Type looks pretty strong. Should we find out who has the ultimate bug type? All right. Is it one we expect or is it a different thing? Yon Mega, okay. Oh, I, now I wish I had a rock type move. It does take times two from fire though.
Ooh. Ow. Ooh, I hope it doesn't have the speed up. Uh-oh. I hope I have priority still. Oh, no. Why did it do that? It could have won if it did Air Slash. Oh, <laughs> Waldo! You threw! Oh, also crit mattered. The guy threw! Oh, that was a thousand percent luck. I mean, Waldo's the best. Oh, wow. It seems the ultimate black type Pokemon belongs to you. It means you're the rightful owner of this precious item. Two beings of time and space set free from the original one. I swear to God I'm reading the same things. Okay, yeah. So it's... It only has eight engravings. So once you find the ninth one, they start repeating. So, so they're repeating. I need to get out of here alive. Whew! That was the closest one yet! Good job, though, Waldo. Down your spot you go. Nope, you stay there. Okay, we gotta save you for last. So one of these five we gotta use. Maybe we go with ground. Where's ground at? Or brigade. Okay. That makes sense. That's real close by. I mean, it also says there's another one that's at 207, which is also right next to Orberg, so I guess we can we can kill both of those next part. Or at least one of them next part. Oops. I gotta get my precious baby boy Groudon out. I wish I could remember the moveset I gave you back in Ruby. Because I could solo the Elite Four with just you. I'm trying to remember what it was. You definitely had a fire type move. I think you had earthquake. I think you had solar beam. I don't think it was eruption. I think it was overheat. And then maybe crunch for the ghosts. I did have to use a leopard berry though. Because he did not have enough uh, moves to get through the entire thing. All right, that guy's new. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to run from this fight, am I? I'm gonna have to actually destroy you. Okay, you didn't have an arena trap. I'm gonna, just gonna toss one of these down now. Okay, what do we expect from a ground type master? I 
What Pokemon could it be? Would it be a double type? It could be Gliscor, just to get ground flying, so I can't attack it with a ground type move. Ground Psychic, Ground Rock. I mean, I have Solar Beam, so that's going to destroy it. I'm the Ground Type Master. I am the find the ultimate Ground Type. Your Ground Type looks pretty strong. Should we find out who has the ultimate Ground Type Pokemon? Let's see. Oh, yeah, this thing's getting destroyed by Solar Beam. I mean, this is four times weak to grass. If it doesn't die, the Gretchen's super, super attack isn't that great. Yeah, that's what I thought. Amazing, you have the ultimate ground type. Oh, wow. Seems the ultimate ground type Pokemon belongs to you. That means you're the rightful owner of this precious item. Yep, 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 yep. Thank you for a great ground type Pokemon battle. I wonder who the last person was that held all 16 plates. Because they've been separated like this for a while. Well, hold on. Let me just take a look up here. Because this is where the... Uh, this is where the rock one is. Probably that guy. Is it the rock one that I'm thinking of? What's the next one? The one I'm thinking of. Yeah, rock. All right, well, if that's the case, I'll just switch over to... Hey, this is home turf for Rosa. If Rosa doesn't win, I'm calling it rigged. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. We got four more plates. Uh, next episode, I think we're only going to get three. Because there's, I mean, there's still the one plate that we have to go through a place that we haven't really explored fully. Uh, so we'll do that episode after. And we'll get the plate and that and that part as well. So should be, should be a nice, easy, even episode. So... Let me just save the game. I was originally planning on ending ending the series on episode 140, but seeing as how we still have some more plates to get, and there's some more things to do after that, I think 145 is going to be the ending. So, until next time. Hopefully you enjoy.